What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, another interview with the Cedia's Ventures family. Today I have Tobin. Uh, remind me your last name again, sorry. Uh, short, short. Tobin Short, right. So thank you, Tobin. I, I had the opportunity to meet you in Joey's Credit Academy. And, you know, we shared one time, if, if I can recall properly. But from that point forward, uh, we separated and I, I hadn't heard anything from you. But now I, I hear you with the Heroes Financial Group and some other cool stuff. So to get started, man, share with us a little bit about your background and then we can talk about how you help people, right? Absolutely, man. Yeah, I know we separated for a bit, but, you know, that's just because you know, I haven't been as active in the group and the academy, but it's totally just because I'm, I'm so busy, man. We're all busy with business, life, yeah. family and everything. But, you know, we, we, we got a, we got priorities and stuff, man. <laughs> but definitely, definitely right. awesome and great to be back together. But anyway, yeah. Again, my name may be short, but, you know, I'm, I'm ho hopefully, you know, I'm a little bit tall. I'm a little tall. <laughs> but, yeah, just a kid, you know, I came from the Philippines, right? Um, graduated from ASU. I'm not going to tell you my whole life story from, from birth to, to now, but, you know, I graduated from Arizona State University. I um, actually got my degree in kinesiology, believe it or not. Wanted to um, become a physical therapist. few things changed here and there, and I actually, um, I graduated but ended up going into the Navy, right? Ended up going to Navy, enlisted, did that for eight years. Um, and, you know, I didn't do anything with the medical field, which was mm. kind of what I studied. <laughs> ended up going into nuclear operations, right? Engineering uh, operations, something completely different, right? But the thing is, when I went into that, um, what I found out um, the most um, about myself and, you know, and other people in terms of like, potential was that the potential is so unlimited there right mm. me coming from you know such a different background going into this right and <laughs> and doing very well in it you know it taught myself you know hey i can do anything man <laughs> yeah yeah and one of those things that I, I like to instill in people as well and in, in terms of what i like to coach uh coach about as well okay but anyway did eight years in that did very well did very well man um, got the, uh, the opportunity and privilege, privilege to become an instructor in my last two years. Right. But after that, you know, I kind of wanted to say, you know what, I, I don't really want to stay here for the long term, right. In the Navy, in the military, um, you know, spent, um, a lot of, a lot of time away from the family. Right. Um, I, you know, I, I had some good opportunities, able to travel the world, right. Spend a lot of time yeah. in the ocean <laughs> <laughs> i've heard but, that <laughs> but but you know uh, no spending that time away from the family kind of kind of took its toll on me you know and you know what you know i want to get out right get out and then i uh had some opportunities with what i've done right but in the end i didn't really want to take it to to um to the civilian world back in the civilian life okay. right so had some job offers here and there uh, ultimately, you know, I decided, you know, I, I want to be in business for myself, mm -hmm. right? I want to do my own thing. And I, you know, I've tried a few different things right okay. here and there. Right? I mean, I've done uh, fitness coaching as well. And ultimately found, you know, what? a lot of people have issues with their finances, their money, money management, right? Yeah. Why can't these people afford my affordable coaching? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> there's, there's something else there. Okay. And in what I've found in my interests, right? I've always been into to money and, and knew about money, credit, and all this stuff and savings while I was a kid. And you okay. know what? It kind of just came as an opportunity to meet, you know, as a sign from God that, you know, I got this opportunity to work in the financial services industry and the opportunity was brought to me. And you know what? I took it and ran with it, <laughs> all right? Took it and ran with it. I had a job offer in place as I was getting out of the Navy. And I said went ahead and, and, and canceled it <laughs> right? Oh, wow. because I said, you know what, if I don't work on this new business that I'm doing full time, it's never going to get anywhere. It's never going to get to where I want to be. And I'm not going to help as many people as I want to as fast as I want to. So that's where I decided, hey, I'm going to have to cancel that offer I accepted. And it was, it was pretty good. But you know what, I, I want, I'm going in business for myself you know and, and basically you know have my own freedom of time freedom of money as well all right that's that's the quick and dirty there man 
<laughs> awesome. That is that was a bold move. So you were mm -hmm. being offered a good amount of money, and then you decided to go for take the chance. And, and and how was that? How how the beginning sometimes, right? It all depends for each individual. But for most people, it's it's a hefty road. What was it what what was it like for you? I'm sorry. For me, man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's always it's always scary going into yeah. something new, right? <laughs> it's natural for us to be scared to to go into something completely different, right? Especially yeah. you know, hey, you know, I've done this and that. Here's my experience. I did eight years in the military doing nuclear operations, and it's like that's my <laughs> that's my life. That's that's what I should yeah. be doing, right? <laughs> yeah. And then for me, you know, someone like me to go into something else with you know, uh, uh, as a husband and a father, mm -hmm. right? To 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 let go of a job offer, right? And then go into something completely commission-based to start my own business, right? Uh, you know, and, and where Heroes Financial Group is born from. Okay. Right? It's just like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what? <laughs> right, now what? Now what? So, you know, going into it again, it, it's a little yeah. scary and you're, there's uncertainty there, but yeah. hey, as long as the right systems are in place, Mm -hmm. the right mentorship is there the right team is there the right people that you surround yourself with are there to help you out and pour their belief in you and you in turn you know believe in yourself and take those action steps that you need to take that you're told to take in order to be successful right you're gonna succeed absolutely right? you're gonna succeed okay we we all have we i think we all have what we need um, we all know what to do in order to succeed. It's just all about implementing and executing. Absolutely. So most of the time we fall, we fall into learning loops and we don't get out of them into the action steps, right? That's happened to me several, many times. And, uh, but, but that's why I invite you guys to share your story, to learn a little bit more and, and avoid those mistakes, right? There's this good, this good saying by Albert Einstein, Einstein, I think it was, but he said, if you, <clears throat> if you double down on your failure rate, you're going to succeed faster than most people. Uh, most Absolutely. people are staying in the same learning loop. So let's get out of there, guys. If you're watching this, thank you for following up the journey. Thank you for listening to uh, what Tobin has to share. So let's talk about who you help, right? And how do you achieve that? Yeah, man. I help anybody and everybody. Right. Anybody and everybody ah. in licensed professional <laughs> in, uh, you know, in several states. Right. Um, the, okay. the beautiful thing about my industry and what I do is that, you know, I can help somebody from the womb to the tomb right? in financial okay. services. That's what we like to say from the womb to the tomb. Right. Because the things I know now, man, is like, man, I wish my parents knew this. I wish my grandparents knew this. I wish everybody knows it. I wish I knew it 10, 20 years ago, man, mm -hmm. um, for myself but a it's all about passing it on now yeah. right and and this teaching people about it okay awesome. as and, and doing it as early as possible right i help individuals families business owners um you know everybody right and and bringing them the best financial education that you know they they can get that we're not getting in our school system right we're not yeah. getting it from whatever profession we're in right from our hr <laughs> division right none of those guys unless you actually go into this business yourself and seek out the seek out the knowledge yeah. right and seek out the professionals that know it yeah okay. gotcha so so uh, look here's the thing i'm a marketer i'm obsessed with marketing uh, but i love finances too and that's that's where i started at first but i saw the gap between finances and marketing so i got to ask you this Who's your ideal client? Just before saying everybody and anybody, because I've heard so many people. Uh, look, I had at the beginning when I started in the in, in the in the space, the finance world, I had you know people tell me write down a hundred names, cold call them, bug them, and these were people who I had not talked to them about for the last four years, and then I had to reach out and say, hey, can you help me? So that sucked. So I, I want to share more marketing stuff with you and with everybody else that's what that's going to be watching this so share with me who's your ideal client right now absolutely man absolutely man so ideal client right yeah um somebody that's at least maybe 25 and older cool right 25 and older um wow. married and has kids 
25, okay. um, 25, because honestly, a lot of the times when you're young, you don't think about these things, man. Yeah. Most, most people don't get out of the, don't get out of their parents' place until yeah. maybe even the thirties, <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, I'm 21 yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm and 21. then yeah. Yeah, and then there's, I mean, and then there's those anomalies, the kids that leave when they're 16 or, or you yeah. know, in their 20s. And it's like, when I meet those people, I'm like, good for you, man. Good for yeah. you. Right. But yeah, usually 25 years old because they, you know, they're, they've got a bit more experience out of college. Maturity. They, maturity, you know, a bit more maturity. And then they start, this is when on average, some people start, start uh, getting married and starting families as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So with them, you know, they're, 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 maybe bringing more thought to their finances and hey what's in the future and what's to come right yeah you know i deal with uh you know financial planning and, and life insurance mainly okay. right and retirement planning yeah and hey it's not a really a matter of if we're gonna pass right uh, if yeah. we're gonna get old <laughs> if we're not if we're gonna stop working right it's it's a matter of when yeah. that happens right it's a matter of when and it's a matter of being prepared right so yeah that, that, that would be my ideal client great so uh another question just jumping all over the place here but what would you say to yourself when you started in in the space doing what you're doing right now what doing i say, everything what, you know now <laughs> <laughs> you know well, what do i say my what did i say my, to myself when i first started yeah what would you say knowing everything you know now what would you say to yourself when you started out oh when i start out um knowing what i know now i mean really just keep going man <laughs> why why what? that that gives me a, a that sounds like a flashback something happened that i wanted that you wanted to quit or something like that <laughs> yeah believe it or not man that that's did myself and i know everyone else right always wants to quit yeah it's i think it's in our nature because we want things to be easy for us yeah right? when things get hard it's like that's it i'm done i'm quitting <laughs> i just want to go lay in bed go go to sleep take a nap <laughs> yeah right we had a rough day i'm gonna sleep it off right Absolutely. so it's in our nature to do that right and be discouraged and stuff like that right so it's just you know a matter of hey overcoming that and continuing to push forward because if you have that vision and, and the mindset and seeing where you're going to go what you aim to do right for me you know hey i aim to help you know a thousand people this year alone right a thousand individuals a thousand families um with what i do okay and you know earn a certain amount right because what i earn is just a representative of how many people i have helped right in that sense right so I know where I'm going there. So it's like, you know what? You got to go hit that goal. You got to achieve that. You can't stop now. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, what's in it? What's next? <laughs> All right. Yeah. What's next? Absolutely. So, yeah, I, uh, uh, going back to that, just persistence res and, and just resilience. This guy is phenomenal when it comes to that. If you guys are watching this, please pick up this, a book from this guy, Robert Kiyosaki. He's going to change your life in terms of going from rags to riches and it's not the cliche story of you know uh someone who started out and, and and made it eventually as a millionaire but the guy is really phenomenal when it comes to teaching us these foundations these things that i wish i had learned back in high school right it all happened because i didn't have any money so i started working and eventually i, I saved enough and somebody wanted my money so i had to take care of it <laughs> good stuff so share with me about <clears throat> and the people here what do you think is the the most important thing when it comes to finances for someone like i said uh, protecting uh you, your money when you have mm -hmm. some everyone wants it <laughs> yeah the most the most important thing man that's it's hard to pinpoint right? it's hard to pinpoint but i would say most definitely um like you said pr protecting it in such a way that hey it's gonna grow right mm -hmm. it's gonna grow but you're not putting a lot of risk there right the problem that i see now and today is that hey everyone wants to get rich quick right yeah. everyone wants to get rich quick sure it happens 
right? It happens to a few lucky people, right? But when you look and, and read, right, look at history and read the books, right? Um, uh, I think and Grow Rich, right? Yes. I don't want to yeah. disturb my pile here, but <laughs> Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, right? Yeah. I know a lot of people have read that book and look into it and they, they can see like the traits of successful people and their characteristics and that, hey, it takes time, it takes hard work, it takes energy, mm -hmm. right? Um, but you know, you can't just put all of your money into the stock market and cryptocurrency, right, right away, yeah. right? Um, if you have a good amount of cash, you should be putting it into a vehicle that will still give you growth more than the banks will ever give you, mm -hmm. right? And will keep it safe for you as well so that you're not going to lose any of it, okay? And that's the strategy that I help people with called indexing, right? It's a okay. strategy totally separate from index funds, right? And then you make sure you still have money in the bank, right? <laughs> a good amount of it, but not all of it, because again, where's that, where's inflation going and taking that money? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, and then they tell you this all the time, only put money in the market that you are willing to risk and lose, <laughs> right? But time and time again, we have seen people put in, I'm just going to put all this in there and then see where it goes. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my God, the market just crashed. <laughs> and that's when everybody starts running yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it, it's definitely having that protection, that layer in place, and then making sure you diversify accordingly and talking to the professionals that can help you with that sort of thing. Right. Right. So, but um, most importantly is taking action the earlier the better, right? Not always researching and, and thinking about it. Should I put it here? Should I put it there? Next thing you know, you're 65. Crap, where did my, where, what happened to my retirement fund? I ended up not saving anything, <laughs> right? Yeah, so many stories right now with the baby boomers retiring, with the pandemic almost ending. Uh, hopefully, let's see where, where everything goes, right? Tovin, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for sharing 18, 20 minutes with me this is for the people like i said like i say in every video in every podcast every story is a every person is a story yet to be told so thank you for that brother any last yeah, thoughts for the people here um last thoughts last thoughts um shoot i don't know man plenty <laughs> keep whatever you're doing keep going right if you have a nine to five job right now you know um one of the things that we saw over this pandemic, right, is that, hey, your job isn't secure, right? Look for other ways to make money, be open to opportunities, keep your mind open, keep your eyes peeled, um, and be open to them. Because even though you haven't heard of something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't mean it's that's not, um, that not possible. So you got to keep open to those different things. Have a side hustle. You know, you want to increase your cash flow, reduce your debt, um, and um, increase your um, diversify and put into those different money vehicles that's going to work for you, All right? And of course, if you have any questions, shameless plug here, right? Go ahead and check out Heroes Financial Group. You can get in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook, um, Instagram, TobinShort.Finance, right? And then I'll be down below, guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Great. So I want. I, I was going to ask you where should they find you. You just said <laughs> thank you. Uh, is there a website for you? Yeah, yeah. Heroesfinancialgroup.com. Perfect. We're going to have it in the in the description or somewhere here, and then you guys can connect with Tobin here. Thank you, Tobin. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Okay, brother. I'll talk to you later. Thank you guys for everything. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>